All right, everybody, Baron here, and welcome back to Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. Today, we're going to be looking at some new stuff, and right here, we're seeing an assassin teleporting to its target for the first time. It takes damage, which is really cool, but it, it reminds me, like, I've been starting to see, I've, I've started to see some things and really wondered if superheroes couldn't work in Totally Accurate Battle Simulator, especially with the unit, the custom unit maker, right? Basically allowing us to either share these things, preferably via Steam Workshop, because if there's Steam Workshop support, I've always felt that mod support is very, very good in games, and as such, the replayability of the game usually goes up considerably. You gotta think about just modding in general. DayZ came from Arma. No one really played Arma. It was a very niche game. The people who did play it loved it, but it wasn't really a huge game. Then DayZ comes out, and that's just like one of the examples, right? Fallout, or excuse me, Fortnite Battle Royale was technically an in-house mod for their game, and now it is the second coming of Minecraft on YouTube. Okay, so right now we're seeing the Assassin, right? He is not the Boulder Thrower, which is another new unit, and probably what, the Caveman Faction maybe? This guy teleports, it's almost like he has the Blink Dagger, which was one of like the stick fight custom weapons. This reminds me of Nightcrawler. Was it X-Men 2? that it was that the nightcrawler was in when he attacked the white house one of the coolest like cinematic fight scenes i ever thought from the uh superhero movies and that was in the beginning days of superhero movies but you can think of like obviously the stick fight blink dagger but superhero wise like what are some superheroes that would that would be able to do this like i know nightcrawler can do it but here we go which superhero do you want in tabs and why name your top two now this one is obvious who it is. This is a lightning hammer. Which other gods would fit in tabs is what we'll ask. I mean, that's a great question, right? So, here we go. We've got... This is Thor's hammer, most definitely. Like, and, and it goes back... I always wonder about the possibility of if tabs AI can be upgraded so that they can have two combat abilities, or at least the option of that. That that the AI could be able to be given two combat abilities. Then you could have Thor throw his hammer and pull it back. We've already seen things kind of like that happen, like with teleporting. I don't know. That one would probably be very difficult to program. But with this lightning hammer, it makes you think of Thor, does it not? And with Thor, like, I could see a Captain America easily, right? I've, I've talked about it before where you have a shield unit that is able to deflect um, anything, or at least absorb it so he doesn't take damage if it hits his shield, which is kind of already in tabs right now, but then he can punch and kick, and if, like I said, if they could have that two attack functionality, which is me just getting ahead of myself with what I would love to see in tabs, we probably won't see it, maybe it'll happen in the future, maybe it'll be tabs too, maybe it'll be an update, lord knows, maybe it'll never happen! All those are possibilities, but Thor with Captain America... I guess with the teleportation, we already got flying units, right? So you could you could imagine an Iron Man, and then if they can fly and he could shoot like, uh, like wrist machine guns or something like that. So here is the Spider Mage. The Spider Mage reminds me so much of Spider Man. We made a video on it about a month ago. The video went crazy because it was around the same time as Spider Man coming out. Perfect time for Landfall to show off the Spider Mage because Spider Man, Spider Man. Who else throws this kind of stuff, sticky stuff? I don't know. Like, you could. I could imagine Storm throwing like a mini tornado or something like that. Would be dope! Now, here's something, it's a superhero, but not in the conventional, like, Marvel Universe sense, right? Here you just see, like, a double Axeman unit. I'm trying to think, are there du dual-wielding units in tabs right now? I don't think so, but you could imagine you could make a Samurai Master with two Samurai Swords, or, like, one large, longer Samurai Sword and then the shorter one. What is it, the Katana, and then what's the other one? What is the other one that, that Samurai use? Which, usually, the second one was used to commit seppuku. So, or Sudoku, as the memes would say. But also, it makes you wonder about, like, Viking heroes. Imagine having a hatchet and a sword. Oh, there we go. The Viking unit is dual-wielding because he has a shield and an axe currently. But this makes me think of Lord of the Rings-style super units, superheroes, right? Which kind of brings me into this one here, which is the Chain Lightning Archer. And I could see Legolas, kind of, but, like, here, this Chain Lightning... Reminds me of Jedi's Star Wars superheroes. We've already got lightsaber wielding units in the game the neon faction Which is the most unbalanced faction, which is why it was never made on the main branch for the current edition of tabs 
but this is the chain lightning archer this makes me think of like emperor palpatine i am the senate execute order 66 and you could totally imagine giving like Palpatine, if he had, like, occasional, like, burst, like, flying through the air, kind of, like, uh, spiral style, like a spiral torpedo style, like what he did when he was fighting the Jedi Masters, and he's got the lightning bolts, and it also reminds me of, like, maybe Raiden from Mortal Kombat, you could have, like, imagine Sub-Zero, are there, is there freezing? There is freezing archers, so then you could make Sub-Zero, who shoots out, like, a little ice crystal, and then it hits the enemy and they freeze in place and he's a and he's dressed like a ninja. Oh my god. Sub-Zero and Scorpion. Get over here. Oh my gosh. Okay. The whole mechanic that you'd use with Thor's hammer could be the same thing you use with Scorpion, right? When he shoots out that uh like what is it? It's a cable and a spear and he pulls the enemy towards him and he punches him in the face. Oh my god. So then you could do Mortal Kombat, Raiden, Sub-Zero, Scorpion just to name a few. Ooh, with the raptor you could have reptile? I don't know. And here we have a basically when you can fire 25 arrows at the same time and have a very very fast reload. Not necessarily the same bit, but imagine if you had Legolas, right? Basically, you up their accuracy a lot and you up his reload speed and then if unit gets in close if there was that dual functionality where he could he could switch to his dual blades or maybe just would smack him with a bow i don't know it makes one wonder because already we've gone through like possibilities for superheroes and you've got marvel comics you could obviously have dc comics with batman aquaman would be cool i don't know how aquaman would work since there's no real water in tabs just yet Maybe if there was water and it affected most... Oh, that guy got, that guy got an arrow in the, in the nether region at the end there. But I'm trying to think of just, like, other heroes that you could see. See right here? Here we go. Fans put in the shields. Now all we need is tornadoes to go out from it, and you've got, and you've got Storm from the X-Men. You could make all the X-Men. I think you could. Oh, imagine Wolverine as an, as a, in tabs, dude. That would be dope. Oh, man. The possibilities are endless with Tabs. I th I'm, I'm hoping Tabs comes out this year. I think it might. We're only in early October, so you think about it. We have October, November, and December. There's basically three full months, or close to three full months. Just under three full months for this year. You never know. And in my opinion, if Tabs was to come out this year, then my most anticipated three games of this year, or at least the, the quarter four, the winter of 2018, would go Fallout 76, Red Dead Redemption 2, and Tabs in no particular order. All three of those would be games I'm going to play my butt off. All right, guys, so the first custom battle, and I want you to leave your custom battle suggestions in the comments below, similar to how Random Reviewer, who's the first custom battle, did right here. He laid out how he wanted to do it, choice of map, the number of units, how they're loosely situated on the battlefield, and if there's a story or premise that as well. So in the red corner, this is the battle of release. Everybody is just wanting the game to be released, so this is... Landfall's release games, at least most of them to date. So the map is Denmark because it's pretty much the go-to map. And in the red corner, Tabs 1.0. We've got 20 shieldmen, 20 footmen, a couple laser pistols, and then the chicken men because, let's be honest, chicken men were one of the funniest and silliest units that we saw in Tabs, and it was in the very first version of Tabs. So then we've got the cannon fodder as far as 50 farmers. They've got ballistas, they've got a few cannons, but I love this. This is very, like, the shield wall was like one of the first strategies used in tabs, obviously, other than charging the enemy with a lot of units. Now, the cool part here is the blue corner, Landfall's other release games. There's five chariots in the center as cluster trucks. There's three who watches and two ballista as air, air brawls, fighters, and bombers. An M16 as a square from Square Brawl, and some cannon fodder for the blue team. Basically, there's a bunch of boxers representing everybody, all the fighters from Stick Fight. Oh, I was hoping that M16 would get hit by the chariot, otherwise Red is going to have a very rough time unless they can fire a musket ball and hit this M16 guy, but I don't know if it's possible. Oh my god! Oh, I was going to say, there's no way that footman was just going to charge up here and take him out. I guess we do have chicken men, so as long as they don't get taken out and are able to launch enough chicken... There we go, the M16 is down, but now it's the cannon fodder units, and look at this. We've got farmers versus boxers here. So the, the, the boxers are from stick fight, right? 
And then there's uh, 20 muskets as tab G and tab Z probably players because, you know, both of them kind of fit that first person shooter battle royale type feel. Although personally, I like tab Z better because there was all the weird AI monsters to fight and there was all the secret little um, Easter egg weapons and crazy weapons. That was really cool. Obviously, tab G has a ton of crazy weapons and there's a free weekend going on right now, I think. Or there, was there an update or a free weekend? There's something happening with Tab G right now. But look at that. It looks like... It looks like Landfall's other games won. How do we change this? I'm gonna change the positioning of the muskets to much closer. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, I think there's enough... I think there's a couple double spawns. Look at this. These shields and the Hawatches silence everybody. The, oh man, I guess I didn't really account for that. These chariots coming in and just wrecking. Although the farmers did a pretty good job at stopping that. Okay, they've got to take out this M16 guy. They took him out with a footman. That is massive. That is a massive win for the red faction. Now these chicken men need to start, start stopping. They need to start stopping? And start pooping out the chickens because these boxers, most of the, I think these guys are going to get knocked. Wait a minute. Never mind. They're getting hit. There's, there's two, no, all three of them are still alive. Well, all three, there was, there was more at the beginning, but those were the survivors. Now, I think just by a slight formational change here, is this boxer alive? No, he's definitely knocked out. Man. Oh. Dude, look at this, mate, look at this. So, we've got some Star Wars battles coming up. Oh my god, he took a spear right through the nether region. I do not envy that man at all. This guy's like, hey, shooting cannons is hard! <laughs> and then it blows up, and the gunner flies off. But I'm thinking, it depends. The chicken men are able to fire right behind this. Oh, that poor farmer. Hey guys, how you doing? My name's Farmer... <laughs> And then there's, hey, that was my brother Billy Bob. I'm Bobby Bell. And I got hit with a giant spear or a musket ball. One of the two. So this, oh, this chicken man is about to get pooped on and not, not the chickens pooping on him. Wait, how is he still alive? His chickens are going to win the game. Pew, pew, pew. Oh, there's one ballistic guy left. And there's a few farmers stuck on this thing. So if he doesn't take this ballistic guy out... I think this ballista might hit him, but it's at an awkward angle. It's, it's, his accuracy is in question. Look at how slow he marches. Hey guys, you want some chickens? Man, I guess if you think about it, the chicken man, it really is the supreme farmer, ain't he? All right, let's do this one again. And let's see the battle from above. I like to see, I like the different viewpoints you can get. I like to go back from slow motion to speedy motion, AKA regular time. I mean, I'm telling you what, slow motion was one of the coolest features, and whenever you have giant battles with a ton of enemies, basically a ton of units on the battlefield, slow motion really, really allows you to get regular frames back, because it, I mean, obviously it just slows down the game. The neon, the neon guy's still up. Yeah, this one looks like a runaway win for the, uh, I'm gonna say the red team. It depends, if that neon sniper can stay alive without going down, I don't know why these guys are so dang slow, these chicken man man. That's just regular- Oh, dude, he did- this guy just sniped off one of these guys. I hear- oh, dude, look at this. The Farmer's Rebellion. Dude, these guys are getting bummers. But imagine, in tabs when it does come out, these guys having bayonets. And when they- when they get closed on, when the units close on them, it'd be really cool. What if you had a musketeer unit? Like, so, uh, Wooden Battles has a musketeer unit. Which, it's very basic, but you can imagine a guy having, like, maybe, well, that, that'd be switching weapons. That's advanced. But if you just put a bayonet on the musketeer, and, or, yeah, on the, yeah, on the musketeer, and change it so, like, when a unit closes the distance, he'll then try to melee as opposed to shoot ranged, the, the musket unit with a bayonet armed, which would probably be more than just a regular musket unit, I guess you could call the musket unit the militia. And then the uh, the guy who has a musket and a bayonet and is trained to do melee damage, he would be more like a line infantry. You could have really, really good Napoleonic era battles. Whoa, we broke the game. It's been a while since we've broken the game, man. I played a battle simulator, not the best made, a little while ago. And we saw that happening all the time. And it reminded me of the good old days of the very, very beginning of tabs. So thank you, random reviewer, for your suggestion. Leave yours below. 
All right, so this is the Battle of Endor by Lego Hobo 910. He had the most upvotes of any custom battle, and there goes Chewbacca. Chewbacca has fallen. This is the Battle of Endor, and one of the cool parts, yeah, we'll go over it, is uh, that there's two battles going on. There's actually supposed to be three, but I felt like the map was going to be a little bit congested. And my god, did this battle end real quick? Who's left alive? There's nobody on the battlefield. All right, so what we've got here is the battle is supposed to be divided into three sections. We divided it into two sections. So right over here, and actually we should add the, the other section now that I think about it. We're just going to cram it in. It'll be the battle for space. So this is Emperor Palpatine and Darth Vader versus Luke Skywalker because they're battling on the Death Star. Now, this guy is a delayed... Jedi Master because it's supposed to be Darth Vader after he turns good. Spoiler alert! This is the Ewok Force, one of, half of the Ewok Force. The other half of the Ewok Force is over here. And you know what, I'm actually gonna take these guys and move them over so it's five archers, five, uh, bandits. What are they called? Barbarians. One, two, three, four, five. We'll add the other four archers. Five. One, two, three, four, five. And then another spear thrower as the Ewoks because we're going to put the space battle over here. So this is the Empire. We've got stormtroopers, uh, scout troopers. We've got the Ewoks. I love the Ewoks. This is the Rebel Force. This is Han Solo as the Beamer Rifle. We've got Princess Leia as the Ninja. I feel like Princess Leia is a boss. And she needs to at least be a Ninja Master. Sorry, Empire, you're just going to have to fight all that much harder to beat the Rebels. Now, over here, we're going to cram the uh, space battle. So, the red... Oh, my gosh. Two ballistas? Oh, how, how is this even supposed to happen? But we're going to we're gonna make it work. All right, so this will be the space battle. So, the Rebels have two ballistas as capital ships. One catapult as home one, which was the Mon Calamari uh, flagship cruiser. Then we've got seven energy pistols as X-wings, five archers as A-wings, five muskets as B-wings, and a ninja as the Millennium Falcon. Love the detail. Blues the Empire, three ballistas as Star Destroyers, 15 energy pistols as TIE Fighters. I stacked them over here like they're going to be coming out of a Star Destroyer. We've got five muskets as TIE Interceptors, and then the Beamer as the Death Star Lair Laser. It's a trap! Alright, so let's actually- Whoa, let's go- let's go slow because this is just gonna be all absolute chaos. I put it in the most, uh, like, compact area of the map, which is funny because the- The, um, space battle was obviously the biggest- Oh, man! Home one just knocked out a couple TIE Fighters right there. Uh, you know what? I dare say the Rebel Fleet might win. Except for the fact that the Death Star laser- Death Star will be in range in about right now. Took something out. Oh my gosh, and there goes the Rebel Fleet. So, the Death Star... Wait, where did he go? What is happening to everybody? It broke again! Everybody disappeared! Something weird is happening. So this is what I always wondered in the past if there wasn't some hidden layer of code that would make tabs like totally weird every now and then like something unique would happen each time because we've seen units ghost off this battlefield twice and they're three times three times How does that happen? And I've seen weird things happening in tabs all the time. Sometimes you'll play it You'll open it up something happened that you have never seen before the units doing but also, almost weird, like, I don't know, I'm gonna even go to say that I think it was intentional. So, we're gonna try this once more. We've had three, three times out of three. Come on, Chewbacca! Dude, imagine Chewbacca with a bowcaster. We, we were talking about superheroes, and, like, Star Wars would be none this, like, none different. We've got units here that are supposed to be representing ATSCs and AT-ATs. I wonder how big walkers could work in tabs. This one is actually seems like it's working. The units are not disappearing yet. I think we've got a regular battle, and it looks like the Empire is going to pull this one out as a victory. However, both Luke and Darth Vader have survived. Both Skywalkers. Oh, that was a key miss. Oh, is that a beamer? Oh, if that's a beamer, then this is not looking good. Especially given that this catapult is keeping... The enemy, keeping the rebels from reaching him, the beamer should be able to finish off most of them. There's beamers... There... Wait, there's not supposed to be two beamers, are there? How are there two beamers? Man... And then, but, uh, there was also a lot of double spawning of units. I still wonder if double spawning wasn't intentional. Oh, he... Oh my gosh, I was gonna say, he barely got that off. Yeah, I was gonna say, I don't, I don't think Darth Vader's gonna be able to pull this one out of the bag. You know what the rebels need? We're gonna add a bunch of Ewoks, but the Ewoks are gonna be Viking... 
Viking headbutters. We're gonna see if the rebel the rebels the rebels win. All right, let's let's be honest. So we've got to change the battle in a total like this has to be totally accurate. Look at this. Oh, Luke went down. Oh my gosh! Bad Darth Vader killed good Darth Vader and Luke Skywalker. Emperor Palpatine went down first. You know you don't see it every day. And Chewbacca's still alive and he's heading right for the beam rifle. He takes him out. There's oh, oh I guess there's another beam rifle. Oh yeah, the Death Star's still alive. That's how there was two beam rifles. The Red Faction still has a chance. Rebels do have a chance. It depends. Oh, that guy got caught up. Oh, I was gonna say if the Death and Ewok just took out the Death Star. Totally accurate. And there you have it, Rebel Victory. All right, so we've got a really cool suggestion. I love the challenges. It's fun to mix in some challenges. So this is Zip Monster Hunter, and he's saying, Baron, please try to defeat this army. One super boxer leading the charge, four chicken men, two on each flank, two who watches in the back, 15 Vikings behind the super boxer, and six muskets behind, b beside the super boxer. So, the rules are, I can't use the Neon Faction or Super Dark Peasants, and I cannot use more money for my army than what my army costs. So, I'm gonna try this. I always try to do this. Alright, so, $9,440. I can't use more money. So, we're gonna use the biggest bang for your buck unit in the game, in my opinion, which is the Viking Headbutter. And I'm just not gonna spend more than he is, and we're gonna see if this can't win the day. All right, we're getting close to that 9,440. Oh, wow, I, I spent a little bit much. All right, let's... There we go. And boom, 20 bucks less, we all saw it. Let's see, do I have to- I have to do slow motion here at the beginning. The Hawatches are gonna definitely mess up a lot of my forces, I guess. I should have accounted for the Hawatches. Oh my gosh, a chicken got Hawatched! And it's flying through the air! Imagine chicken arrows, or imagine a Hawatcha that just fired chickens. Custom unit maker? All's possible. Okay, so what it's really gonna come down to is how my guys are able to deal with the Super Boxer. He's got a lot of hit points here. So it is very, it's a very real possibility that he just knocks out all of my units. But I had to try this. So I can't let it go real time, unfortunately. Look at this poor Super Boxer. A lot of these guys are actually running into themselves. But maybe they'll bury him. Enough. Oh, he's he just flung out of there like a freaking a bat out of Hades house. Come on boys. What do we got here? Oh, see they die most of them die after they hit him. This is just I, I Guess I could use chicken men All right, it looks like the super boxer will be able to take out all of my guys unless he's very low on health And some of these last guys can silence him. They've, I've only got what two three four left He's able to knock them most most of them out Oh my gosh, look at this, boom, blue victory, okay, okay. So what I've got to do then, I'm going to clear this side. I'm still going to use a bunch of headbutters at the beginning to mess up those Vikings. And then behind them, I'm going to have a full line of muskets. And I think I could, I could probably fit some cannons in there too. I think my musket should fire over that. And then I'm gonna have- oh, you know what I'm gonna have? Is I'm gonna have some Samurai Masters up in here. Oh, I can't- I can't- Well, I'm gonna have to take off one of- two of the cannons to have a- I'm gonna- I want a Samurai Master in there. Oh wait, I, I was- I was like a couple thousand off. No, it's still less. He's got 9,440. I've got 9,400. We're adhering to the rules. I think we've got this one. Oh, I forgot about the whole watches again. I am dumb. They took out most of my Vikings. Uh, some of them got up. However, the enemy forces is mostly down. Oh, uh oh. That's GG, boys. I don't know how that worked out so fastly. Let's see that one again. It just ended so quick. I think it's because the Samurai Master has enough hitting power. To kill a super boxer? Oh, yeah. He's getting absolutely ring tossed around here. Oh my gosh, Samurai Masters. OP, alright. The monster hunter. I've hunted your monster. Will that sound. Let's take out these guys and let's try just regular uh, Samurai. And one Ninja Master. I'm gonna put him over here. Alright. So I went significantly less money by about a thousand here. Or maybe it was more like six, seven hundred. So the watches are really good at silencing my army. They're chicken men. Oh, a neon bomb just went off in the background there. And 
Is this super? No, his super boxer isn't down this time, but I do have a ninja master. So, don't go after the ninja master! Oh, he took him out! Okay, so now I basically chose muskets because they should be able to do a good job at ping-ponging him back and forcing him backwards. Oh my god, hold on. If he- he just got neon bombed right there. And that's a red victory. And there it is, guys! Alright, leave your custom battle suggestions in the comments below. If you see one that you like, give it an upvote so it's more than likely to be chosen. I love the feedback, I love the community effort that we have on these Tabs custom battles. When Tabs comes out, guys, you know we're gonna be going ham on it. Oh, I cannot wait. We've got Fallout 76, we got Red Dead Redemption 2. If there's any other games that you want me to check out that are up and coming, put them in the, the comments below, guys. Oh, man. I cannot wait for the future. I've been waiting for the future for two years! Anyway, guys, happy weekend to yous! Hope you enjoyed this Superhero, I guess this guy could be Captain America. Give him a shield, one golden glove, and make him look like Captain America, and we could have Captain America. Dude, I wanna make all the I wanna make all the Marvel Avengers, I wanna make all the Star Wars characters, I wanna make all the Lord of the Rings characters. I want Fallout mods too. Oh, we could do that. We could do that. All that could be done if there's a good unit uh editor. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Happy weekend!